Hey, good afternoon. This is Katie at Kentucky Hemp Works. I am so excited to do hemp homeschool with you guys today. Um, we just came up with this idea out of the blue, but it's something that sounds like a total blast. Very excited to do this. I hope you can hear me okay because it's raining really hard right now and we're in a greenhouse. So it sounds like there's a loud fan in the background that's really just the rain. Um, hopefully it'll stop raining soon because it's been raining for like six years. So getting on to our hemp plants, we are um, in the greenhouse today because I wanted to be able to show you the plants and uh, if you're not familiar with hemp plants or you're not used to being around cannabis, I wanted to make sure that you could visualize it. So in future classes, if we don't have any plants around, you still kind of know what we're looking at. So this is a hemp plant and basically this is a female hemp plant. This is going to be grown for CBD and um, in the greenhouse with us, they're all female plants. So hemp, generally speaking, is um, it is a really more like a tree or a shrub than, than an herb. Um, it really looks like bamboo. So if you're familiar with how bamboo looks, there's little segments of the plant and each segment uh, is, is separated by a little line and that's called a node. But even though hemp plants and the stalks look like bamboo, they're really more closely related to hops or mulberry trees. Um, and they, they come from a family of trees uh, that produce berries, they produce fibers, and they produce wood um, and food for human consumption. So hemp is in um, very good company and we actually know now that we can use hemp for so many things that a lot of times you have a plant um, and you can use it for this thing or you can use it for that thing. Maybe you have a plant that you can use for fiber, but you can't use it for um, edible seeds. Or maybe you have a plant that you can eat the roots, but you can't use it for fiber for clothing. What makes hemp so amazing is that it can be used for so many different things, all from the same plant. So it has been referred to as the buffalo of plants because back in the old days, the buffalo uh, was hunted and every single part of that buffalo was used. They used the bones, the fur, um, the skins, the meat. Well, hemp is really the same way. If we start at the top of the plant, what we have up here, we have the leaves of the plant and these leaves are all gonna have an odd number of leaves. So it might have five leaves, it might have seven, it might have nine or 11, um, but it's always gonna be an odd number and they're spread out like, like a palm or like the palm of your hand. So at each one of these junctions where each one of these leaves separates out, there's tiny little spikes that stick out of the plant. And those spikes are actually going to catch pollen in the air. And at every one of these little branches, you're gonna have a seed head. Now we'll get a little bit more into um, these branches and the seed heads and things in a, future, uh, in a future lesson. But for now, just understand that each one of these branches will in the future produce a seed head. If it gets pollinated, of course. So moving down the plant, <clears throat> you can see here that we have very tough, very strong um, stems here. Now, since this is a CBD plant, there's a whole bunch of stems. And typically on a seed or a fiber plant, you're gonna have one strong central stalk and very little branching. And most of that branching is gonna be just at the very top of the plant. But this is a good example, and if you can see in here, you can see these little lines going up and down the stalk. Those are your fibers, those are your bast fibers. And the fibers are essentially contained in the bark of the plant. So moving down the plant, 
there's a little something that's very, very important and, um, and often overlooked, and that's the roots of the plant. So we will get into the roots a little bit more tomorrow. I'm really, really excited to tell you about the roots and tell you about their history and what makes them so exciting to me. Um, so tune in tomorrow at the same time, noon central, and we'll talk a little bit more about the hemp roots. So the last thing is your homework for today. I know everybody loves homework, but this homework should be a little more fun. Um, we have posted a couple of links down in the comments. There's a graphic. Just read over that graphic and get, get yourself familiar with the different parts of the plant and uh, what they're used for. And then your second piece of homework is a video. So check out that video on YouTube. The third homework assignment is for the older students or more advanced students. It's a little bit of history and we're gonna be um, reading about 4-H in Kentucky and uh, uh, from around 80 years ago in the, in the 1940s um, and how the 4-H students were learning to grow hemp back in the 40s. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. I'm so happy you're here. We're so excited to do this again tomorrow and I'll see you tomorrow.